how to heal from a laser treatment or a chemical peel and all the products you need. I'm going to do another video on my day by day healing, but this is going to be all about the products you have to get. So save this video if a laser treatment or a chemical peel is ever in your future. The most important thing you need to get before a laser treatment is a mini fan. No one will tell you how important this is. Your skin is going to be so, so hot and uncomfortable and a mini fan is 100% the difference between you going home in horrific pain or you going home with no pain. I'm telling you with the fan blowing on you, you will not feel a thing. So if you only get one thing from this video, let it be the fact that you must get a mini fan. They're like 10 bucks from Amazon or I'm sure you can get them in Target or anywhere. Mini fan, put it in your purse, you need it. Second, this isn't necessary, but I do love this. This is my sun shield. So you put it on like a headband and then it protects you in the car ride home. It protects you when you're out walking or if you're driving a lot. If you just had a laser treatment or a chemical peel, the sun cannot touch your face. You could really hurt the skin. And this one has really helped me a lot. You can get these on Amazon. I find them to be really comfortable. I was just in the car for over an hour and my skin, even though I had sunscreen on, you really wanna protect it. UVA, UVB protection sun shield. Okay, now as far as products, first up, you probably already have this. In the morning and night, you're going to need a gentle cleanser. Something paraben, sulfate-free, literally as gentle as you can. I usually use Vana Cream cleanser. I just ran out of it, so I picked up this Murad Soothing Oat and Peptide cleanser. You just want something hydrating, free of any acids or fragrance. The more natural, the better for your skin, and you're going to do this morning and night. After you wash your face, highly recommend you get some microfiber cloths. So these are from Clean Skin Club. I get the extra large. They are huge. And then I cut them into fours. The pack that I bought for $16 from Amazon has now lasted me like well over a year and a half or so because I cut them into smaller sheets. You only need one of these to gently pat your face and your neck dry. Post-procedure, I do this morning and night. I usually take one and I wet it to gently get off the excess cleanser and SPF because the moisturizer and the SPF does stick to your skin post-procedure, because as you can see, my skin is very bumpy right now, so anything on it kind of sticks. So if you gently wet one of these and really gently just kind of smooth it off while it's wet, um, it'll get all the, the gunk off. And then I take a clean one and I pat dry. So this is after washing your face. Again, I cannot recommend these enough. You don't want to be using like a hand towel, anything that could have little, you know, fuzzies and hair on it. I just think these are excellent and I do really highly recommend them post-procedure. After washing your face, you might have some gunk still on it. So my girlfriend, who's a medical esthetician, she recommended this toner and oh my god it has changed everything i don't know how i've been sleeping on this this is the thayer's hydrating milky toner with hyaluronic acid put this on a cotton ball rub it gently on your skin oh my god complete game changer this is absolutely lovely so after you wash your face pat dry a little bit of this milky toner just gently gets the gook off and preps your skin for the next step which is going to be hydrating serums you absolutely do not need to do this you can go straight from toner to moisturizer but i love a serum the ones that i like are rescue md DNA Repair Complex. This is specifically for post-procedure, post-laser treatments. It is excellent. Formulated by a plastic surgeon. Or I just got this. This is Pillow Talk's um, Arnica Sculpting Serum Roller. Really, really cool um, Arnica roller. Arnica depuffs, reduces the look of swelling and bruising. This is great, like day one or two. Absolutely love. So either of these, highly recommend. But again, you don't have to do this. You can just wash your face and go right to moisturizer. And here's what I recommend for that. I love the Epion's Medical Barrier Cream. It is so hydrating, feels so good, or the La Roche-Posay Cicaplast Balm. I usually use the Epion's during the day and the Cicaplast at night because it's a little thicker. This is just a nice, hydrating, wonderful cream. Love it. Epion's Medical Barrier Cream. And I took a ton of these samples from Dr. Claire. This is my favorite post-procedure, the Ilta MD Mineral Transparent Zinc Oxide with Hyaluronic Acid. I love this Ilta MD post-procedure. A lot of times I feel like sunscreens can burn, especially when your skin is like, you know, fresh from a laser or a chemical peel. I never feel that way with Ilta MD, so I love it. To clarify, to go over all of that, we gently wash our face, pat dry, a little milky toner, a nice serum if you so choose, some moisturizer, and sunscreen. Now tonight, 
I'm gonna look white as a ghost because I have all of that junk on my face. So this is your night routine. We're gonna cleanse our skin with the same face wash, pat it dry, and then this is it. I just finished up with the La Roche-Posay Cicaplast. No actives while you are healing from a procedure. No vitamin C, no retinoids, no acids, nothing. Keep it simple. Take a little look at my skin. Woo! Okay, I'm about to do some moisturizer and sunscreen. So again, I'll do another video on my day by day healing, but I just thought it was important that we do a product video because all of the products I'm using here, this is nothing that I use in my day to day routine. This is a totally different routine while I'm healing. So I think it's important to know that and important to go over what products we should be using and in what order. So if you're having a laser treatment or a chemical peel, I hope you find this video helpful and I will see you next time.